Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today I've got a huge video for you. Cardano is looking like it's going to break out to a new all-time high and possibly by the time you see this video, maybe it has broken to a new all-time high. We're also going to look at Cardano projects which are coming out into the ecosystem, check off a few of these which you guys have mentioned on Twitter. So if you're not already following, make sure you follow on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so that you see these videos pop up in your feed because we have a lot more crypto and Cardano content coming away throughout this bull market. I'm also going to dive into the staking pool. There's been a lot of questions and concerns around different margin fees and who's doing what in these pools. So I'm going to talk about uh, staking pools at the end of the video. So make sure you watch right through to get your full dose of Cardano and how you can earn yourself passive income uh, by just staking your Cardano. There are the links down below if you just want to get started now. Click on those links and you can watch a video on how to stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator pool, which is the pool that I run here on the channel. But without further ado, let's get across the prices, the updates, uh, looking at Cardano pricing on the charts and looking at what I'm looking for, a lot of looking here for strength and weakness. So we'll start with ADA on the market cap, 77.8 billion. We've climbed so much and we've just left Binance in the dead for now. But we're sitting at around 30% for the week, 12% on the last 24 hours with a total market cap. We've just crossed the $2 trillion level again as Bitcoin continues to edge its way closer to the resistance level at that 47, 47 and a half K. So the next piece is smart contracts. This one's a little bit of a fun one to look at, so we won't spend much time on it, but essentially will Cardano support smart contracts on mainnet by October 1st? So we saw this huge spike up to uh, up for the yeses at 87 cents down to 13 cents for the nos and it's slowly just crept away and I'm sure as we start to get closer to the date and things are looking like it's on track to get there before October 1st then this is going to blow right out and it's going to be yes Cardano will support smart contracts on mainnet. So I was asking you guys on Twitter if you're not already following make sure you do links are down below and your responses have been pretty good. You've given me quite a few to look at here. C3 is one of them. Jiro, Jero is another that we're going to look at. And I've got one more there as well. But let's look at the pricing now. We're sitting at $2.42, getting very close to this previous all-time high of $2.51. So currently, today has reached $2.49. So basically, two cents off the all-time high, which for many old-school technical analysts and newbies, you can see this starting to look like a double top pattern. So in terms of weakness, we don't want to see it break down beneath this low here because this low at $1.90 bounced off the previous highs and it used it as support. So that's a good sign. That's a strong sign. There is the resistance that was on the bounce in May and June and then we used it as support. So that's a good launch pad. Ideally from this point, everyone wants that if you're a holder, you want to see this break through. Now, what does it mean if we break through? If we break through, we don't want to see it come back under. That's generally considered a weaker sign. What we do want to see is if it does break through, obviously keep going all the way to the moon or up, test something, 280, 270, whatever it is, doesn't matter. But if we come back, that we use the old high as support. That's the strong sign here. And then we start to, if we bounce around, that's fine. If we just use a support and keep going again, that's fine but we just don't want to see it come up and then back under. That's weakness for the time being. It doesn't mean that it has to tank from that point, but it's just weakness and it might mean that we need a little more time to retest these levels of where, you know, maybe between this high and the all-time high. So up, retest and go, or just go, retest up here, but not that. So that's ADA USD. We're yet to see what happens from that point, but that's the way I'm looking at it from here. ADA BTC has broken to new highs and you can see that it might be doing something similar here to what I just mentioned on the US dollar chart. We've broken through this recent high. So that was back at around 5,000 sats and it's for now, while I'm filming this video, it's sitting above the old high. That's what you want to see. So technical uh, analysts and the like will tell you what they're looking for, but you have to look at 
how the market is reacting to that information. And so people just want to know, is it raining or is it not? You know, is it going up or is it not? That's generally not how the markets work. If it's going up, it's probably already going. You just want to see what happens. For example, here, high or low. That's a good sign. We moved up. Okay, cool. It broke the high. Okay, cool. Two strong signs. We're going to go up from that point. Now, we've broken the top. Are we going to sit on top of the top? Possibly. And then hopefully we get that takeoff. ADA ETH also broken this recent high uh, that it set just back in, in June before it basically tanked. So we've got this little high here. I, I, again, you can see that we're just holding above it for now for now. So hopefully I can get this video out in the next hour or so for you guys and you will see the results of what happens from this point. Again, the main thing we don't want to see is obviously, you know, a break up, maybe it tests these levels here and then falls back into this zone, you know. It's not the worst, but it just means it'll take more time until we can move further north again. So on all fronts, USD, BTC and ETH, it's looking pretty good. BTC is where ADA is looking the strongest because it's broken to new recent highs. ADA ETH is where it's looking the weakest out of the three, but of course, overall, it's quite strong. ADA USD it just has more ground to make up against ETH uh, because ETH has also been very, very strong. But against USD, what we're waiting for now, let's break 252. Now onto the projects that we're going to look at today. We've got Cardstarter, Jiro Wallet, and Charlie. So Cardstarter is the place where projects can go to get their projects launched, find some funds, launch the project. Kind of like PokerStarter if you were following the Polkadot ecosystem. And this is one of the projects that I like. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take off and be the next big thing. I just like projects that are looking forward in the finance space. And I'm sure there'll be some more NFT projects that come on Cardano, which are probably going to do a hell of a lot better. Uh, than a lot of this stuff because we're basically just looking for projects that can tantalize the imagination of the new investor. Some Something that people want to pile their money into, shoot the prices up, and then it falls. This, this isn't just my opinion. This is just what I've seen over the course of the market and what has actually played out. And so when you're looking for these smaller projects, consider that. Maybe consider stuff that has a smaller market cap as well. As we can see here with Cardstarter, one of the pieces I like about this is that a lot of the token seems to be on the market. So when this launched, as we'll see with the token prices, it was launched at around 10 cents and 15 cents. Well, these were the first rounds. You can see here 2 million cards were at 10 cents and 3 million were at 15 cents. So that's only $650,000 that they were they were looking for. Uh, in the early days. So that's 5 million. So this could be all still vested. Vesting at minus 10% at uh, token generation, 22.5% per month for four months. Okay. So there's 5 million there. There's only 10 million in total, which gave it a market cap of about $1.3 million. Now, card starter is at around 140, 141 million. So that's 100x, a little more, of course, but look for round numbers, around 100x already, sitting at $32. Can this go further? Probably. And it looks like it wants to do that at the moment as it starts to climb up again. Higher lows, high highs are breaking out. We did get to a low of around 14 bucks, a little lower here at 10, and now we're sitting at around 32 previous high was at about $80. So you can see there was just massive returns to be made from that initial token generation event, the TGE, private sale, public sale, liquidity. So check out all of these things when you're researching your own cryptos uh, into any ecosystem. This is the stuff that needs to be found out. So card seller is looks quite good. You know, it's been out there. We've got data on it. The next thing I look at is the chart and we have it against ETH. Again, breaking of the highs, supports have been put in. This is looking all right. Some volumes coming into the market as well, as you can see over the last couple of weeks. So far, so good. On to the next project, Jiro, Jiro Wallet. You guys will let me know how to pronounce that in the, the comments. Uh, Jiro Wallet has a good following here, 17,000. They're getting interaction. They're all being a part of their own ecosystems and retweeting each other. So that's a good sign here that they're all working together. There's no hard feelings between different projects. We've got the entire ecosystem here, Cardano ecosystem. You can pick anything in here, maybe throw a, a dart at a dartboard and put this up on your wall. Maybe these will work out. NFT gaming is probably the big space that 
will do a lot better. We've seen that in the past. I guess we're just going to go off previous ex- results and just see if NFTs can really pump this next stage as well. But for now, we're looking at Jero Wallet. And this is at 40 cents. Had a low of around 10 cents or so, and then it started to move again. So we're sitting at around that 40 cent mark. It's a wallet for Cardano. What is Jero Wallet? Jero Wallet is an all-in-one DeFi app designed to be a powerful instrument for experienced and new users alike. Jero Wallet de- delivers a, ref- a redefined user experience by focusing on user-centric design. So if that just sounds like all marketing hogwash, probably because it is, what we want to see is, is the price going up and are we breaking new highs? And at this stage, we're getting there. We've got higher lows. We need to break through this high that's sitting at around 45 or so cents. On to the next project. That's Charlie 3. Following each other here, 21,000. Same sort of thing. They're all retweeting each other. We can see them across other platforms. We can find out other projects which they're also interested in. And also just make sure that they're all legit by looking at their websites. And Charlie 3 is the decentralized oracle or aiming to be the decentralized oracle for the Cardano ecosystem, open source decentralized oracle. So think Chainlink, but for Cardano. And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of this sort of stuff. It's like what's happened on Ethereum, what is happening on Solana, bring it across, try and do the same thing on Cardano. That's what's happened in the past. That's what has worked. That's what has pumped. Why won't it work again? And when it doesn't work again, then we have to be concerned. So where can we buy all of these tokens? Well, they're going to be on Uniswap on Ethereum at the moment because we're still waiting for smart contracts on Cardano. And of course, uh, one inch. That's another place that we can get them. So how does Charlie 3 or Charlie or C3, whatever you want to call it, how does that look? Well, it is working out pretty well against ETH. So remember, we're looking at the chart this way, ETH, Charlie. And previously... The way I read it is you can see, well, one ETH would have bought us about 2,266 C3, and now it's only buying us about 880, which means the C3 price, Charlie 3, has increased in value or Ethereum has decreased. And we definitely know Ethereum hasn't decreased in value. So it has been going up pretty well. So we're going to move on to look at staking pools. And I'm going to let you know how I like to look at staking pools. And you can choose any one that you you want at the end of the day. But these are some of the features, not all, but just some of the things that I would look for when choosing a staking pool. Now, this is a fluid investment. You're going to have to keep an eye on how much ADA is in that staking pool. And for the, the, the investor accelerator, which anyone can uh, delegate to, we have about 18 million at the moment. And there's about 14 million of that, which is from the Cardano Foundation. Currently, we have about 4 million from, from you guys that are watching the channel, 4 million ADA in the pool here. Uh, I will mention, if you do enjoy the content on the channel, let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon does go a long way to helping out the content. And I do appreciate your comments in the comment section, uh, letting me know about what you have done on the channel, what you love, what you uh, have enjoyed and what you've learned. And from here, Margin. Margin is always one of the big ones. It's like, why are you taking four and a half percent? Well, this is just part of the investor accelerator pool and what I do to to run the pool. There's a pledge here of a hundred thousand ADA. So there's a hundred thousand ADA for this pool. Okay, that is something that is needed to show that you have skin in the game. And then there's a fixed cost, something that you can't change. So 340 ADA. I can't change that. That's what all the pools have, 340 ADA. So saturation is one of the big ones here. And you can see we're about 27.7% saturated. Some people will be 100%, some people will be 1%. But this is an important one because the whole idea about the Cardano ecosystem is that it becomes decentralized. And once you get to 100% saturation, you start to lose rewards. So they, they start to disincentivize you for having too much ADA in that pool. Because it's, again, the whole idea is to become decentralized so that you can break down and make more pools. Now, should it be from the same person? That's up to you. Do you want to support someone that has two pools? Is that really decentralized? I'll leave that up to you. I don't have a problem with it providing you know, I like the person and what they stand for and that sort of stuff. But some people will see that as not decentralized because it's the same person. They're just making two pools, right? So the next thing I'm going to look at is where where might else you can go? Where might you go? All right. So some people, you can, I'm just using the, the recent ones here where I can find uh, where they've gone. So money's coming in, money's going out. A-D-A-F-R. So here's another pool here. Uh, they have 56 million. Their margin is lower. 
and their saturation is getting close to 100%. So 100% is around 64 million at the moment. Now, the saturation point might change over time, and it, it definitely should, provided we get more people into the ecosystem. And so they're looking at something, say, at around 32 million. So should that happen, then pools that are above 32 million, people are going to have to move out of those pools into smaller pools. That's not the time yet. It's it's still fine. You know, we, we haven't got to that point. But this is the things that I'll look for when I'm in a staking pool. So that's why it has to be an active investment. So just make sure you're, you're following that. Pledge, huge pledge. 3 million ADA in here. Again, same fixed cost. People coming in and out, reds and whites. That's what we're looking for. In terms of 1.5% and 4.5%, what do those numbers look like? Now, for easy numbers sake, let's use 100 ADA. That's what we've got here. 100 multiplied by about 5% because that's about roughly what we can expect to get out of our ADA at the end of the year. That's about five ADA to get from 100 ADA. Okay, so you delegate 100 after the 12 months, you should have about approximately five ADA. Now, at a 1.5% fee, so the margin, that's going to be you lose 0.075 ADA to the staking pool. Now, on my staking pool, 4.5%. So it's about 0.225. So the difference is about 0.25. 1.5 ADA. So at the current price, 0.15, say about $2.50, that's about 37.5 cents per year per hundred. So if you had a thousand ADA that you're staking in, in my pool, it's going to be a difference of about $3.70. So about what one and a half ADA difference. And that's what I put in the original post on the Investor Accelerator uh, staking pool video. But if that means a lot to you, by all means, go to any other staking pool. I'm just letting you know how the numbers work and how to distinguish between the different margins. So if you want something that's at 1.5% rather than 4.5%, do the figures, work it out. Just make sure that your staking pool is not getting too close to saturation because even though the margin could be quite low, you might lose rewards because there's too much in that pool. And, that's that, and that saturation point is at 64 million. So as I get quite close to that, once... Uh, Cardano changes, then that's going to have to drop to about 32 million ADA saturation point in that pool. So just keep an eye on that. Be very active with your investment. So just as an example, I was using the funds that were coming in and out just recently into the Investor Accelerator pool. And that was the example that we just looked at then, ADAFR. And the next one that I can see is MELD7. So I've gone across and I've talk to some guys who understand this a little better than I do. What is MELD7? They have a margin of 99%. So all of your rewards that you put into this pool go to MELD. You, you get zero rewards. They have the smallest pledge that you can possibly get, 450. So there's not really any skin in the game. But from what I understand, this is going towards uh, another app and that you're going to get paid in their token rather than ADA. So you're giving away your ADA to receive a meld token, which you might receive in about 12 months time. If that's your prerogative, that's that's your own journey. You know, that's the story that you want to take with your investment. You're giving away your ADA for a meld token. Maybe the meld token you believe is going to be worth more. You know, that's just all part of speculation and investing. So keep an eye on those certain things. This is how you can read saturation. Uh, you can read margin, the pledge, how much skin is in the game from the, the node operator and the fixed cost, which is something that doesn't change. That's set by Cardano. There's a lot of info you can find online if you want to research around pools and saturation and how to figure it all out uh, in more depth. Pool pledge mechanics, you can read a little bit about that here. So if they don't have a high pledge, then you could be sure that you're not going to get the reward. So keep that in mind as well. Other things like saturation points, beyond the saturation point, rewards will decrease. So check on that. Definitely check on that. Uh, encouraging new and existing stakeholders to actively seek out other unsaturated pools. So you, as you can see from, for example, the Investor Accelerator is at 27. There's going to be plenty of others that aren't at saturation point either. But that's just something to keep in mind as to how this all works. And so the idea is to make more pools to be more decentralized. That's the ethos of Cardano. So in summary, from today's video, we looked at the Cardano prices, getting very close to that all-time high again. Against BTC value, it looks quite good. ETH, again, we've broken to a new recent high. Uh, and the US dollar, look, hopefully we can get there today and hopefully it gets there as by the time I post this video. We've also got a few Cardano ecosystem projects 
that we looked at on the video today and in terms of their price things are starting to climb just keep an eye on where the support levels come in should bitcoin take a, a dive then i would expect that a lot of the market might take a dive with it short term long term we don't know but just keep an eye on those support levels and lastly we looked at staking pools and how to judge different staking pools you choose whichever one you want that was just using some uh, examples and calculations to figure out what to look for and I thank you guys again who are delegating your ADA to our Investor Accelerator staking pool. I talk about it often on the channel because that's my duty to you guys is to make sure that pool is running as efficiently as possible. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, join me on Instagram and on Twitter. Make sure you're staking your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator pool and I'll see you over at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.